is your opsa. Uh, or you get pillared. If and everything went screwy, then you just crazy. get pillared, and then all right, well now you're in the sky at a high percentage with ZB ready to again river dance on you for yet another stock. Like you just yeah, yeah it's tough. It's tough. It's tough, but oh. we got plenty more to go through. Kodako bringing out the Olympia to fight off against yet another crag in today's bracket. Button check? Or are we just moving? I think we are schmoving. We are is this one of the, the newer characters? This yes. is. Okay. Olympia is one of the workshop characters who, uh, as I've been told, no one's really seen a lot of play lately. Like, we saw Hodan bring funny monkey business under the hands of Giga Bowser earlier today. And myself bringing Malo, but now we've got Olympia checking in. Yeah, very little palm representation across the board. Character's very unexplored. Uh, but the Olympia, just for many players and many uh, representatives of this game, Olympia's just one of those characters that works. Like, everything is where it needs to be to function. They lowered her ceiling, thankfully, because she was broken. But now it, it's, a, it's a solid combo character that can have some troubles getting in. But when d when she does, and with good movement across, some solid movement with uh, the focus cancels, you're able to get something going at the very least. Though Krag can lean into his zoning with Rock and Shards a lot more in a matchup like this. Oh, I, I, I love like that. that. I, I like that a lot. love that. The way that Olympia tries to control stage, like she wants to have those battles near the ledge. She doesn't like high commitments off stage because you have to exhaust a lot of resources and still keep yourself in a position where you're coming back unless you're going for some sort of Hail Mary and game ender. And Craig doesn't have to respect that. Craig gets to fool around. And Craig is quite quite honestly looking like they don't have to respect much of what Olympia does with the I mean of course her buttons are and things like up air into side B Ooh. that time instead of the up special going for a side uh, which is a button that well it, as recovery it really seems like uh, MSB doesn't have to respect it all that much but he's getting kind of overwhelmed by the sheer offense that Olympia can unfold having to immediately force that recovery though but gets back in turn I like how Coda has been doing a lot more of these small, uh, of the co up close uh, crystal, less as a projectile and more as a movement option. And as we were mentioning at the very beginning of this of our block, movement is everything. Yes, and there is a lot of movement options available to Olympia so long as they can jump cancel the Hayate, because you just sort of get to spring forward and you have buttons at your disposal. But I think MSB is adapting very well to these crack reactions that we're seeing from Coda. No, we're just chilling. Yeah, hiding under the crystal. I like that a lot, though. Hide under the crystal, make sure you can't detonate, and then destroy it to ensure your recovery route. And Olympia is not able to take all of that punishment, though getting off the angel platform was right. Uh-oh. Using the pillar to break the crystal, I think, is genius. MSB figuring out a lot of ways to try and play around, and unfortunately, just too high of a percentage to come back from that one. Slap the controller. Come on, wake it up. This is a team effort here. Come on, man. Brain like, yeah. and hands. Yeah. It, in didn't, one. it didn't galaxy. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some things that it feels like this should have galaxied regardless, but yeah, no, the okay. DI did not die off the top. Eventually, I've actually kill found in, ex in my experience that that kill, uh, that screen kill, doesn't really come up for that move. Sometimes I don't know oh. if it's a current bug or if it's just because it's really wonky with its multi hits. I wouldn't put it past it. Uh, it's. I play against this character a ton with Lee. Yeah, shout out to Lee. There There's your galaxy. At some point, it's like no matter what, like there is self-assured moments when you're in the bubble already. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, and Olympia has a way of just bringing you there. Ooh, uh -oh. the charged focus to actually get the crystal hit too. And the f all right, Goda. He, he moved. <laughs> we move he, without he, moving. He, he jive. <laughs> He was river dancing. He, was, he actually like drank espresso, standing still really fast. <laughs> All right, MSB has had enough of this funny business, trying to actually get some buttons down, plenty of damage. Oh, the hitfall aerials are so good for Olympia Sweet. I mean, she's an, another one of those all gas type of characters, but with much more extreme strengths and weaknesses. But oh, there's the... I love that catch because it's still making sure that Coda is off stage. It gives you plenty of time to respond and continue your control. Oh, but the the side B high gets Coda back on stage, forcing a low pillar, and then the pillar was destroyed, and that's a stock. Yep. Forced to use everything to find a recovery. 
All right. Oh, landing with just raw landing with Nair. MSB not uh, not trying to mix up his intentions in that moment as neither of these two have found many uh, are, are using a lot of variety when it comes to game plan. They are holding forward and seeing what it gets them. Honestly, staying scrappy, I think, is the best bet for MSB here because Olympia benefits so well from having a lot of stage to play around with. That's what allows a lot of the jump cancel Hayate. That's what allows a lot of positioning for hitfall combos, regardless of wherever you are and regardless of wherever you DI. Like, forcing her in a position where she has to react and sort of take trades minimizes so much of this character's value. For sure. Oh, we see an up to into the clean wave line, just trying to close out the stock, but Koda's DI has been insane, surviving up until 142, even despite the crags blatantly raw kill power. <laughs> you know that touch trying to get silly on a platform? I like it, but you can't be messing around with MSB like this. Yeah, down strong is such a hard move to commit to as well, given how its range is, it doesn't have a set range, it grows. So I don't, I don't, you would have to have read the hardest of parry in order to punish that. On top of that, like it's good for covering those plats because of that growth, but it takes time to get to that position True. and... Time it, is of the essence. <laughs> yeah, especially while MSB is opting to play this like shadow tag. Like you're just on top of each other, you are forced to be in each other's face. Like, it does limit what MSB is able to do with Pillar and Rocket Hands, but I think there's a lot more of a value to the fact that MSB knows which buttons to press when, and Koda's forced to play with less buttons than Olympia typically gets to. Yeah, the shift to a Shadow Tag, Outboxer kind of style, is still, it still benefits in the scrappy nature, but you're forcing a, uh, Koda to make a lot more commitments, or at the very least, use Crystal in some awkward ways in order to continuously find these hits. I mean, finding the hits is still plenty rewarding, but you're able to weave in just enough to keep them going, forcing commitments out of every little thing. That would oh, have been crazy, huge. but he survives with the tech on the platform. No jabs find their mark. MSB be put into a bad situation, and that up strong is not hunting around. But this was the first rock. This was the best rock. Oh, that forward tilt is not going to take it quite yet. It was close, though. Using a ton of resources in, the get in order to get that. Sinking down just low enough. And the most creative of a recovery. Man. But for <laughs> at the end of the day, after all of this, after all this movement to avoid the crystal area of effect, just forward tilt. <laughs> yeah. Move good. Move's move was better, but move good. Move is still good. It's still it's now good out of ten instead of good out of eleven. Yeah, you know, that doesn't make sense, but it's fine. <laughs> Either way, running it back to Gates, I think, is a good call from MSB. I think, oh, yeah. like, he seems to have an idea of what he needs to eliminate in order to play the game. The problem is actually keeping that tempo consistent because it's a very unorthodox tempo. But hey, an SD's gonna help a hell of a lot. A lot of SDs today. People are. People are, uh, they're, they're in it. They're in on it. It's, <laughs> hey, listen, it, you don't cheer for it, but in the words of our forefathers, we do take those. We do, and we take that, is, that DI as well, destroying the pillar remotely as that back air nair once, twice, trying to extend off it, but 40% is still climbing even, getting 64 off of all that with a chance to set up shards and with a chance to set up a, a consistent, repetitious edge guard. Yeah, this is just looking like running drills for MSB right now. Koda does manage to find the stock out of it, but it was looking like very consistent damage. Very easily for MSB, too. Having a very good sense of where Koda's trying to move. And I think that's very important for if he's going to try to make this reverse 3-0 happen. And it's looking, at least like the start of it's looking a little bit more doable. Yeah, it's something to go with at the, at the very least. A couple back airs. A lot of these, a lot of tech ins coming out from Coda on the uh, on these platforms, just trying to get to stay and maintain in center, not trying to deal with Crag's corner pressure. But he does have yeah, you're so far all up. of the combos. It it started on the platform, and he just used that wall as a springboard to head straight to the skies. And suddenly, those reverse 3 0 dreams have gotten a little bit less self assured. You know, it's, it's, it's shaky, and honestly, it's been shaky because of the nature of Olympia. You give her an inch, she takes a mile. Just a little bit of that breathing room is all Olympia needs in order to get those big bombos off, or even just be able to escape and change the tempo. But 
Dakota doing everything and can try to move around this rock, but Shards. this rock is proving to be too shards. much. The angles on all of them covering Olympia's rather straightforward recovery. She can go forward or up, and that's quite about it. It's it's a fairly linear character when you consider For sure. like off stage play, exhausted of resources, percentages climbing, like She's not really one of those offstage fiends, and MSB really took that last stock to showcase that in full. That's what I mean. I mean, the character works. The character can work for just about anybody, but you do have to find ways to get creative at the very end, and unable to be in a consistent position to use Crystal. Oh, Lord. Right. This, I we are a, dying today. This is a <laughs> huge gamble from Coda. I feel like Olympia can get so much off of these plats. And also right there, notice how dead center that Crystal takes up all of center stage. Denies so much space. Olympia has so much control on this stage. But if she's off stage, if she's on those top plats, we're back in the danger zone. Oh, here we are. And we are not leaving alive. Took him straight to the day. <laughs> took him straight to the out of stage zone. Yeah, that was oh, rough. So, so dangerous. Like Olympia gets so much on this stage, but at the same time, it's so dangerous. Koda has to constantly stay fluid with their movement and just watch for any type of counter strike that MSB can put towards that movement. Oh my! And he's getting creative with these shards. He's MSB has found that or has found a lot of consistent success with shards being so applicable against Olympia and has found a lot of different uses to use them. Has the pillar just get down and destroys the pillar forcing a long recovery route. It's going to be a fair bit of damage. Man, the what's... spacing on that uh, Hayate will push you up ever so slightly. It's, it's very similar to Silvano's side special where like, yeah, you might not look like you're over the ledge, but it gives you that a little bit. But given how fast it is and how much that Olympia is getting off of it, it is much more dangerous in practice. Staying out of the range, but forced off stage yet again. D did land on the ground, has pillar. Oh, didn't have pillar, didn't land long enough. Wow. Yeah. And just forced in like the, the huge, huge area of effect of crystal off stage like that. You just, just nowhere to go. It's tough business. This is still quite doable, but. Oh, yeah. Like, if Koda keeps this momentum up, I can't say for certain. It feels like MSB is running out of interesting gambits to go for as the strength of just... Uh, the strength of Olympia's Whoa. raw kit started to exert itself more and more. Like, yeah, you have these pillar gambits, you have some... Uh, you have some interesting rock play, but if I land my neutral air, what are you gonna do about it? The extensions off of Crystal too. It's something that it's it. It was a solid changeup from how early in the set it was a lot of like close range Crystal for movement. And then it slowly transgressed into becoming long range Crystal for uh, that little bit of hit stun and that forcibly, forcibly making MSB do something that he wasn't comfortable with.